Greetings fellow horror lovers, I'm Kevin, your guide through the twisted world of Thanksgiving horror. Set directly in between Halloween and Christmas, horror fans are still lamenting the passing of the former while businesses want us to move on to the latter. Thanksgiving, as a national holiday, dates back to the Reconstruction and was implemented by Abraham Lincoln in hopes of creating a holiday that would unite the country after it had been divided by the horrors of the Civil War. The unhealthy paradox of celebrating a holiday centered around gratitude while simultaneously ignoring the horrific ways the Native American population were exploited, murdered, and relocated is something vile and arguably uniquely American. While Thanksgiving will never fully disappear from American culture, it shouldn't be celebrated without acknowledging the genocide of Native Americans. We cannot forget the persecution and struggles that Native Americans faced after their feast with the Pilgrims. The history of Thanksgiving is horrific, but the holiday as celebrated today is mainly treated as an excuse to gather with family and friends over a shared meal, and the gathering of family and friends in dysfunctional unity makes for the perfect setup for a slasher flick. Eli Roth's film Thanksgiving will be released soon, and many of us horror fans have been waiting for this film for eight years now. And while the current selection of Thanksgiving horror movies may not be quite as impressive as the selection on the pie table at Grandma's house, I do have a few hors d'oeuvres to tide you over until dinner time. And so today, we're sinking our teeth into tales that will leave you spooked even after the leftovers are gone. These movies will definitely make your family seem a little less crazy. A little. Number 10, Thanksgiving 3. Thanksgiving 3 embarks on an audacious journey in a mockumentary that humorously parodies its non-existent prequel, Thanksgiving 2, plunging headfirst into a chaotic universe. The film introduces a slew of bizarre characters, creating a meta-horror experience that revels in its own absurdity. While it may not be everyone's cup of gravy, the film's commitment to its absurdity is commendable. Notably, Thanksgiving 3 boasts a significantly larger budget than its predecessor, with the filmmakers successfully raising over $112,000 on Kickstarter. The result is a quick-cut mishmash filled with random jokes, an array of additional bad puppets, psychedelic acid trip music videos, a rapping granny, and a notable reduction in Turkey's screen time compared to the first film. Despite some standout songs and some visually impressive sets, Turkey Hell being a particular standout, the film struggles to live up to the original's cult status. While Thinks Killing may have been a bad movie, Thinks Killing 3 ventures into the realm of being a distinctly bad movie, failing to capture the charm and appeal of its predecessor. You fucked with the wrong bird, you little bitch! Your mind is mine. Number 9. Blood Freak. Next up on our Frightful Feast is Blood Freak. What's a Thanksgiving without a little turkey? Well, how about a Thanksgiving with a movie about a biker who became a vampiric turkey-headed man who is addicted to the blood of drug addicts after eating chemically altered turkey? That's the basic plot of Blood Freak, a goofy and trashy proto-slasher that's essentially a cross between reefer madness and a trauma film. Blood Freak isn't set on Thanksgiving, but the amount of turkey nonsense you'll see in it will pair perfectly with the leftover turkey sandwiches you enjoy days after your Thanksgiving feast is over. While it's not a good movie, the weird premise and even weirder execution might make for an interesting viewing experience after enough turkey, or better yet, wild turkey. Have you ever seen anything so beautiful? Number 8. The Last Thanksgiving the Last Thanksgiving masterfully navigates the complexities of familial relationships, weaving a narrative that simmers with tension throughout a Thanksgiving gathering. The film's artful combination of suspense and horror unfolds against a backdrop of cherished holiday traditions, creating a unique blend of festivity and fear. As family secrets unravel, the tension builds steadily in a slow burn, 
ultimately leading to a satisfying and impactful payoff. The film adeptly delves into the dark side of family dynamics, exploring the psychological horror that can lurk beneath the surface of seemingly idyllic gatherings. The atmosphere is carefully crafted to heighten sense of dread, enhancing the overall thriller experience. The Last Thanksgiving stands out as a noteworthy addition to the Thanksgiving horror genre, offering viewers a gripping and thought-provoking exploration of the intricacies within family relationships during the holiday season. Hey, hey, everyone. Now that the redneck is gone and the other two assholes haven't returned, we can have a party. I don't know. Number seven, Home Sweet Home. Home Sweet Home is a suspenseful thriller that revolves around a Thanksgiving celebration gone horribly wrong. As the night unfolds, what begins as a festive gathering transforms into a nightmarish home invasion, including a chilling twist on the familiar holiday setting with psychological tension that resonates throughout the film. With its emphasis on suspense and the blurred lines between safety and danger within the familiar confines of a household, Home Sweet Home delivers an engaging and gripping experience for viewers who appreciate a well-executed thriller with a holiday twist. While it may not reinvent the genre, it keeps you on the edge of your seat with its intense pacing and unexpected twists, proving that sometimes the scariest monsters are the ones closest to home. Hey, you want a beer? <laughs> Arrive alive. Don't drink and drive. You can do whatever you want. Take the American flag and shove it up your asshole. Oh, God. Number six, The Oath. The Oath injects a compelling political punch into the Thanksgiving horror genre. This satirical film delves into the repercussions of a contentious loyalty pledge, transforming a seemingly ordinary family gathering into a pressure cooker of chaos. The story unfolds as family members navigate the implications of the divisive oath creating a tension-laden atmosphere that adds a unique yet relatable layer to the traditional holiday setting. The film skillfully combines elements of political satire and horror, offering viewers a thought-provoking commentary on the consequences of blind loyalty and societal divisions. As the narrative unfolds, the tensions escalate and the family dynamics undergo a gripping transformation, providing not only scares, but also a nuanced exploration of loyalty, trust, and the impact of ideological differences. The Oath stands as a clever blend of genres, using horror comedy as a vehicle to deliver its insightful social commentary. By seamlessly weaving political satire into the fabric of a traditional Thanksgiving gathering, the film offers audiences a fresh and unexpected perspective on both family relationships and the broader socio-political landscape. It's a cinematic experience that manages to entertain while prompting reflection on the complexities of loyalty and the consequences of ideological clashes. Uh, his head's all fucked up. Did I do that to his head or was his head like that before? You have a wonderful family. <laughs> Number five, Into the Dark, Pilgrim. Pilgrim offers a unique blend of historical horror and contemporary twists, making it a compelling addition to the Blumhouse Into the Dark series. The story unfolds around a Thanksgiving reenactment gone awry as a suburban family welcomes Pilgrim cosplayers into their home. As the narrative delves into the excesses of the wealthy, the film maintains a B-movie insanity without taking itself too serious. The arrival of Ethan and Patience Two Thanksgiving reenactors brings a menacing puritanical element, with the film exploring the blurred lines between acting and sociopathy. While the slow burn in the first hour may challenge some viewers, the film eventually escalates into intense body horror and gore, accompanied by a clever sense of humor. Pilgrim stands out not only for its gruesome twists, but also its insightful commentary on the commercialization of it's holidays. It's definitely a must-watch for those craving something different this Thanksgiving. What are you afraid of? It's just Thanksgiving. <laughs> Number 4. Christy. Set against the backdrop of Thanksgiving break, forming what was expected to be a tranquil holiday into a harrowing fight for her life. The cult's goal is to kill the Christies of the world, pure, beautiful, and privileged women who they dance. No! Is anybody there? Oh, There's somebody after me and he's chasing me and he's trying to hurt me! You're gonna hurt my kitty! Oh! Number 3. Blood Rage. Taking us back to the 80s, 
Blood Rage immerses viewers in a thrilling tale of suspense and horror. The film kicks off with a wrongful murder accusation, catapulting audiences into a gripping narrative where Thanksgiving festivities take a dark and blood-soaked turn. As the wrongly accused twin escapes, yes, there's a good twin and evil twin in this film, the holiday transforms into a nightmarish roller coaster of suspense and gore encapsulating the essence of classic 80s horror. The movie acts as a nostalgic journey for enthusiasts of 80s slashers, effectively delivering on its promise of inventive kills and an unrelenting pace. Blood Rage emerges as a true gem for those yearning for a vintage horror experience, with its combination of intriguing acting choices, excellently dated sets and outfits, a totally 80s synth soundtrack, suspense, all manners of glorious gore, and a Thanksgiving twist. Blood Rage ends on a tragic note that would feel almost Shakespearean if the context wasn't a raunchy slasher movie. It's never not entertaining, even in scenes where you're feeling alarmed for all the wrong reasons. The film stands as a testament to the enduring appeal of classic horror in the annals of cinematic history, making Blood Rage something every cult horror fan can be thankful for. Your mother's death was a terrible loss to endure at your age. I think you're afraid because the man who did this was never caught. And maybe that's why you don't want to leave. Number two, Flesh and Blood. In Flesh and Blood, the intricate dynamics of a family are laid bare as Thanksgiving dinner becomes the stage for a revelation of long buried secrets. The film delves deep in the themes of revenge, highlighting the repercussions of actions from the past. As the narrative unfolds, the suspense steadily builds, creating a slow-burning horror experience that's sure to keep you engrossed until the shocking and unforeseen conclusion. It's a character-driven tale that skillfully explores the psychological nuances within the family. Each unsettling revelation adds layers to the narrative, offering a unique and compelling experience for those who seek a thought-provoking blend of psychological horror and familial intrigue, making it a standout in the realm of character-driven horror. Haven't you noticed? She tries that with everyone. It's like her legs are harder to shut than the John Benet Ramsey case. Number one, Thanks Killa. Closing out our macabre menu is a film that's considered by many to be the main force when it comes to Thanksgiving horror. Thanks Kill. A cursed turkey with a penchant for puns and a thirst for blood makes this low-budget gem a cold classic. It's a wild ride that doesn't take itself too seriously, or seriously at all, delivering laughs and shocks in equal measure. It's a bad movie with bad acting, bad puppetry, and bad jokes, but it proves that silly and cheap can still provide the goods for a hungry audience. This movie is ridiculous and over the top. It embraces its B-movie charm with gusto and makes no apologies. It's a fun, absurd romp that's sure to leave you gobbling for more. Gobble gobble, motherfucker! So there you have it, our journey through the twisted tales of Thanksgiving horror. So, which films are you adding to your Thanksgiving grocery list? Share your thoughts in the comment below, and don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell for more spine-chilling content. Until next time, keep on creeping. I'm afraid that's all the time we have for today.